Have you ever felt like the weight of your sin is still upon you? You've sinned, you recognize it. You have confessed that sin to your Father in heaven and you have heard the words of Jesus spoken to you through the pastor as if Jesus himself were standing there. And yet it still feels like the burden is here. Like the weight of your sin is still pushing you down and you are under that load and can't hold it. Well, remember, dear child of God, that Jesus' words to you are true. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And when he has pronounced you forgiven, you are forgiven. What's happening is the evil one, the liar, the deceiver, the, the chief liar is whispering in your ear, causing you to believe that you are still under your sin. Remember his first nature, his first language is to lie to you, to keep you in despair, to keep you separated from Christ, thinking that there's no hope for you. Remember on the first day of the week when Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to his disciples. There's 10 left. Thomas is not there and Judas is no more. Jesus appears in the room with them, and what does he say to the disciples? Okay, boys, you better do better next time. All right, boys, I'll give you that one, but if you do it again, I'm not going to be so easy on you. No, not at all. Jesus, the resurrected and risen Jesus, glorified body, stands in front of the disciples and pronounces truth. Peace be with you. And he doesn't just say it once, he says it twice. Peace be with you. Your sins, all of them, are forgiven because Jesus on the cross said to you on Good Friday, it is finished. Your sin has no hold on you. You have confessed it, trusting in Christ. You have received the forgiveness that Jesus won for you on the cross, and you are forgiven. And as he has given you that great gift, we need to continue to live in that gift. The evil one continues to get into our ear and try us to con tries to convince us that we are not forgiven. But you are because of what Christ has done. God has given so many great gifts for this. The gift is his word for you, reminding you of your forgiveness. The gift is baptism where he has drawn you into his kingdom as his own son and has promised you these things. He's promised you an identity as a child of God living in grace and mercy. He's given you his very body and blood for the forgiveness of all of your sins. Use these, immerse yourself in these, but there is another great gift that he has given to you. It's called private confession absolution. It's when you go before the pastor and you confess that you're still struggling with feeling forgiven. Private confession isn't so that the pastor can root around in your past. Private confession is to give you Jesus so that you hear firsthand again that that sin that you're feeling like you're still under is forgiven by the cross of Christ. All of these gifts are for you so that you might live in joy and peace and complete forgiveness in Christ. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.